What's up my friends and uh, partners? Just wanted to say hello today and um, pray you guys are having a great day today. Just wanted to take a few minutes and talk a little bit about trust. Um, I hope you're watching the Olympics because I love and really enjoy the Olympics. It's awesome. I don't know about y'all but I mean watching people, watching athletes, I mean Man, the discipline it takes, amazing, amazing. So, it got me, um, you know, it got me thinking, you really have to have a lot of trust in your coach, you know. Um, you have to really give it your all. Um, and no matter what they say, follow through. Even if, like... You're you're not really, believe, you know, 100% believing that that's that's um, the best thing for you. I know something about. So we're, the topic here is trust, right? I know, um, like when I'm weightlifting, and I'm trying to squat more or, or get my, my clean jerk higher, or whatever. I mean, I I want to do a lot of um, heavy lifts. I want I want to do the lifts, but that's not always the best thing to do. Just because I want to do something, or I think going heavy, going hard every day, and just doing snatch clean and jerk is going to help me. Sometimes you got to reel it back, listen to coach, and do other things, you know, like um, jerk from the blocks, or just do, do percentage cleans, you know, 80% cleans, a bunch of those, things like that. Things, jump on a box, things like that, that will help you in the long run get your clean and jerk higher. So trusting in the program, trusting in, 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 in what you're supposed to do, that's key. That's key. So you got to do that. But the thing is you have, to, you have to find someone and trust them. And that's one thing that we have in the Lord Jesus. We have, we have the word of God, right? Trust. What's the, uh, Proverbs 3, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. That's huge. It tells us that we should trust in Him. Trust in the Lord. Our own understanding sometimes will fail us. Right? What is the scripture that says, there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end is destruction. I mean, that's, that's death. Death. We don't want death. Staying connected with Jesus, no matter what. That's... that's no matter what the circumstance. You know, Ephesians 6, 11, the, the armor of God, stand. When you've done everything, stand, right? Be strong, courageous. That's what he told Joshua, stand. Because that sh shows true faith. Standing. When it looks bleak, when it looks... Um, scary when it looks like there's no hope stand <laughs> I like that putting on the armor of God the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness girding our loins about with truth <laughs> well that truth is the word of God we're in the shoes of the preparation of the gospel of peace the shield of faith the two-edged sword of the spirit quenching all fiery darts the enemy brings against us and pray always that's standing, standing in faith as that warrior, being that warrior. Um, Jeremiah 17, blessed is the man that puts his faith in God. Amen. I mean, that's, that's powerful. Blessed is the man. If you want to stay blessed, if you want to keep the promises of God coming in your life, trust in him. Like Job said, when all's failed around me, I will not fail the Lord. That's trust. Trusting in Him. Psalms, uh, Proverbs 16, 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Commit your ways, rather. Commit your ways. Or tr put your trust in His ways. And do His ways. And it says, your heart will be established. 
I mean, that's powerful. You know, I did a message back about about the established heart. And that is a huge, huge, huge thing that you can have against the enemy, against every situation, the established heart, being established in the word of God. Well, when you commit your ways, that's good, man. When you commit your ways to him, he will establish your heart. I like it. So this whole thing is just about trusting in God, right? So trusting Him. Psalms 56, 3. Even in fear, the psalmist just wrote, I will trust in you. That's, that's it. That's what our goal is this week. Putting our trust in Him. I know sometimes it's hard to put, I mean, trust, trust in the Lord with all your heart. I mean, there's pieces of our heart that we don't want to trust Him with. You know, finances or, or marriage or kids or... We just want to grip onto those things. But just, Lord, I, so, I, want to, I want to put it all in your hands. I want to trust 100%. That's where we start. We start. Um, in 1 John 5, 4, right? He always hears us. When we do his will, we seek out to his will, he hears us. We have that trust that he hears us. We have that promise that he hears us so we can believe we can put the trust right in his is a uh, in his alley right we can call on the name of the lord the bible says that he hears us especially as a, as a born again believer we can boldly come to the throne man that's good i mean you imagine that the the honest to god's truth here we can boldly go to the throne of the most high the one who created all things. That's good. That's real good. In Psalm 91, of course, he is our shield. He is our buckler. He is our provider. He is the one that stands before us and to our left and to our right. And he girts us about from the rear. That's good, man. When you're walking ahead, he's got your back. So today, tr make a commitment. Trust in him. Trust in the Lord Jesus, our Savior, the one who died and rose again. I'm praying for you. Be blessed, okay? God loves you, and Jesus is Lord.